Hello everyone, welcome back for another episode of Let's Play Factorio Mega Base. And today we're going to uh, to make some changes in the base. Um, first of all, I did a lot of exploring. Uh, so I went south and I went on south and placed everywhere some radars. So we have a nice, well, spreaded view of the map. Uh, we found some really nice patches of iron and copper and stone and coal and such also some oil patches that I want to uh, get add to my uh, to my base but uh, most important uh, thing uh, we have somewhere to go at least I'm I've decided to go uh, south and uh, yeah the the ores in this region uh, I believe this one is almost 5k uh, iron ore per node so that's pretty awesome uh, and that patch will last us for quite some while I guess but uh, we're going to revise uh, the uh, the green circuit build because as you can see green circuits is going uh, full speed all the lines are full but uh, we're barely getting any uh, any green circuits and I can extend this line like this but we have beacons so why not use them so we're going to get some beacons I don't have many I have like seven right now but that uh, should be fine for now um, because I want to make a blueprint out of it and then uh, well, let's get them all let's get all 50 of them let's get some chests and let's see I want to have passive providers with me because I do like this kind of system but it's not the greatest system so we're going to work on that I want to speed things up and therefore I want to use beacons I want a 1 to 1 ratio uh, let me check I put it down like this and green circuits output oh crap then store it in that chest in there another chest I guess and then we're going to unload it into the things and we do need inserters for iron so we get underground belt going that way and we are going to load on let me check uh, keep on going like this and I want to have it as a quite a big build though because I want to have four lanes going through so that's a little bit bigger than we are used to uh, currently we have two lanes but now I want to have four lanes going through the middle and we're going to add it into that so this will be green circuits where are you there you are this will be copper wire and since we're going to use uh, productivity modules in both and speed modules in the beacons this will slow down but we get extras same goes for the uh, copper wire it should be sufficient to have a 1 versus 1 ratio instead of this 3 versus 2 ratio so that should save us some assembling machines and we can uh, beacon this uh, part up and we can copy this all the time so that's really nice about this uh, design 
the only thing we have to check is power how are we going to power everything so this part should be easy I guess we'll do it like something like this it's not the most beautiful design but hey it works we need copper coming through and if I can copy this let me remove this part because what do I need to copy I need to copy well actually I do need the other side as well so we're going to have to add this one in here going like this we need a chest over here going into that this needs probably something to be like this so it hooks into there and this one is still in that one so let's do it like this so we need insert is there one going like that we need two assembling machines you will be that you will be that one we need a iron throughput And that one can be a little bit longer like this it's a uh, kind of annoying that I don't have enough beacons for it I said it wouldn't matter but it's still <laughs> kind of annoying to not have enough there we go um, because it's strange to <coughs> make a design without having the proper things and I think everything should be connected yeah if we hook it on into power it sh all should be working so that's good I want to have some lights in there in the build uh, over there is that sufficient I guess so I don't want to overdo it with lights uh, so let me see if I make a blueprint out of it. Uh, this is something else. If this is tileable, it overextends. So that one can be gone. This should work. that one is overlapping but that's okay so we, in theory we can copy this and everything should work out so that's pretty awesome hopefully we have some more beacons so we can start implementing this and then we'll have to check how far we can go we have two more let me add all my red circuits in here so we can get some uh, additional beacons because they are waiting for uh, red circuits and I'm waiting for beacons so so if you guys have any uh, ideas for this design let me know of course or how I should do it because I really like the interaction with you guys because this is not uh, my base but this is our base so yeah make sure to leave comments if you notice anything or if you want to change something or you have any particular ideas I should implement as you can see uh, this uh, lane is full this one is starting to fill up but we're waiting on low density structures let's see what the waiting is for with the low density structures what is holding up 
and it seems steel is holding it up we have plastic we have copper steel is the only thing missing and steel is fully being produced so there's no shortage on iron we're just producing not enough okay because we're also taking quite a bit in our uh, solar panel build okay let's check how many beacons do we have 13 okay great and here is our design so we're going to implement these and the nice thing is they they copy they stack so that's really awesome so we're going to make a new blueprint with everything inside and this is going to be our new uh, design for our green circuits as you can see it's a little bit bigger so we I do have to take a bit of space in here but we should have more green circuits coming through so that's a good absolutely a good thing the iron lines have to change a little bit although not for the upper part I can leave those for what they are okay so we're going to disconnect this over here over here this one can be disconnected over here and the last copper line can be disconnected over here so chew your way through it and uh, I'll be removing some particular lines I guess there's a still a yellow belt in there that should push string things a little bit faster through lights let's get rid of these let's start removing this And sure, bring everything to me, I don't mind. Let's get all the belts and stuff out of here and then we can start implementing it. And like I said, I'll be keeping this copper line as my uh, upper line. Because I don't want to remove this uh, robo port. How many bots? construction bots do we have only 366 that ain't enough should increase that number soon and again I do want to take a new blueprint out of this actually once there we go and then remove that one and let's take it again including some poles like this and then we're going to add a green circuit so we know it's the green circuit built hey that's smart and then we can add it again and again the only downside is we don't have enough beacons and that kind of sucks but everything else should work out and actually we can remove this one as well so no needs for changing so can we build some things I don't know at least we can add some speed modules already to the beacons that we do have so they will start producing faster the downside of this kind of build is that it takes quite a bit of power so we must look after our power because we have a big chance of losing way too much power and uh, having not enough power so we do have to check that but well 
what can go wrong. Uh, let's see. Let's start adding in certain lines. So let's feed this copper. Let's add that one in. There should be an additional line there. And I want to have this go straight. You go like that. You are a different line. This is another iron line. And yeah, you have to come down, buddy. So let's check. Where do you need to go? You have to go there. Down here. Up here. And there will be four lines coming through. So let's change this a little bit. So like this. Iron. And you can go up there. And we're switching this over. By a few. Now all the lines should be in again. The only thing we have to do is hook it up with power. And we should be starting to produce green circuits again. think we should have another splitter in here but I do want to have a, a balancer in here a four lane balancer so should we yeah we should build that one over here like this split over there and you guys have seen this build quite a bit now So you guys should be able to build this uh, yourselves as well, pretty easily. Alrighty, let's go underneath. And we have four lanes of green circuits now. And that is pretty damn awesome. So what are we going to do with those four belts of circuits? Man oh man, what are we going to do with that? One will be split it off towards here. And rebalance. From that end. I think we'll do it like this. So one is going more towards the the solar panel build they are kind of important to us especially for power so we do want to feed many many green circuits in there but we also want to feed something in our additional facilities and all the others should go to our red circuit build and to our uh, blue circuit build and should we extend this build perhaps a little bit that the more I guess we should I don't think it's a good thing to stop the belt over here we should feed more in here but it doesn't split with that belt so we have to insert another splitter over here so more green circuits will be fed towards the last part of our factory and this should be able to produce way more stuff so science will get a boost out of this as well should be able to produce more uh, green inserters more smart inserters should be able to produce more blue circuits 
great great this is looking way better and all we have to do is start to module up um do i want to limit these chests i guess i do otherwise we'll have circuits for eternity so three stacks in each should be <laughs> quite a few uh, circuits and as you can see the belts are still not full right now but uh, it should be fine and I'm waiting for my my modules we're not producing enough modules but that has to do with blue circuits so hopefully this build uh, should uh, produce more green circuits produce more red circuits and eventually produce more blue circuits and uh, we should be able to get more well more modules overall and we can start working with beacons more and more so I'm going to uh, implement some more mod speed modules I hope you guys enjoyed this episode uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done and I will see you guys next time bye